Today, our country honored the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. through a day of service. However, some of our leaders in the Tennessee Valley reflect on if Dr. King's dream is still realized. Our Kenesha Dees brings us the conclusion of the twin pandemic. Of all forms of discrimination and inequalities, injustice in health is the most shocking and inhumane. This is a quote from Dr. King in 1966. 55 years later, leaders believe we still have a long way to go. Here's what they had to say. A lot of people of color work on jobs that don't provide uh, insurance or health care. Alabama NAACP and, President and Bernard Simulton says lack of access to health care creates problems. We're going to have more diabetics. I mean, uh, more people with um, uh, uh, high blood pressure, uh, a compromised immune system, and all those things combined with the pandemic make us a lot more vulnerable as a race of people. You can look across the, the medical spectrum, um, black and brown people are disproportionately affected. The Alabama Department of Public Health shows black people make up close to 31% of those who died from COVID-19. However, black people account for about 27% of the state's population. Angela Curry with the United Women of Color Huntsville believes part of the solution is debunking certain myths associated with minorities. African-American skin is thicker than, you know, uh, other people's skin and we don't feel pain like other people feel pain. There's also a vaccine seen hesitancy in communities of color. Simulton, however, believes the vaccine will be helpful. Learn about the vaccine and make the right decision about their, whether they need it or not. Curry says she's aware that the country is confronting the longstanding issue of race. Slowly but surely, more eyes are being opened. And I just look forward to the steps beyond that. And this concludes the twin pandemic. Putting the Valley first, Kenesha D's WZDX News.